And welcome to your gold market updating charts of the day for today, Monday, the 28th of August. Mike Smith, senior analyst at Gold Markets, here to lead you around what's happening in markets today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Friday saw broad based gains on Wall Street after the Fed chairman's speech at the Jackson Hole Symposium. Did no harm. There was the potential for further rate hikes cited, should data indicate that that is prudent. Uh, but really, Nothing new for markets to digest, so a lot of the pre-speech caution didn't come to pass, and we saw buy-in as a result of that. We did see bond yields rise again. Uh, US futures are just above neutral in the Asian session. They have been a little choppy, but within a fairly tight range so far today. Asian markets are positive so far following Friday's Wall Street lead. ASX is up around 0.5%, hasn't moved very much since open European futures. A point to a positive open, the VIX dropped on Friday below the 16 level and appears to be fairly static today. US dollar index touches three month highs. It is slightly lower in Asia today. Gold is holding over 1900. Despite that USD strength we saw towards the back end of the week, suggesting that the previous week's sell-off was perhaps a little oversold. Copper pauses around that 380 level. Uh, it is rising slightly in Asia so far, but very choppy. And oil has bounced off support pretty neutral in Asia so far. Little movement in cryptos. Bitcoin has flatlined around about that 26,000 level since that significant drop off we had a few days ago. Australian retail sales beat expectations slightly to the upside on a quiet day to day. Nothing really else of note during today. Uh, weekly highlights include uh, Eurozone CPI and US PCE data. It is also as we click over into September. So we have got that non farm payrolls data out on Friday. Couple of charts of interest that caught our eye today. On the ASX West Farmers, which is our chart of the day on Friday, uh, popped higher. And you can see there a significant move up, trading towards the highs of the session at 51.82. Could move its way up to 53 if this buying continues, of course. On the FX front, we saw some strength in the Aussie dollar uh, during the course of the early part of the Asian session. You can see it sort of got stuck around this R2 pivot level against the yen. A bit of yen weakness across the board. So we're looking really for a breach of around this 94.26 to create some more buying in this, possibly up to 94.46 in the short term. If we just take this out a little bit to the four hourly chart, you can see it could even make its way up to 95 should we get some significant buying into this Aussie dollar cross. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.